Caleb Brown here. I told y'all if I was ever going to do another four-wheeler seat upholstery, I was going to show y'all how I did it. Uh, this here is my neighbor's Kawasaki Bayou 220. This is the seat. Um, I got some leftover fabric, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the vinyl, some spray adhesive, and a staple gun, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is the trick. Throw your vinyl in the dryer. Let's do it in there. And let's see, select your setting. I'm just gonna go to time dry. The highest heat and 20 minutes. We're only gonna leave it in there for about just over five minutes. All right, so while that's in the dryer, what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna get some spray adhesive. Elmer's makes some for about $3. This is 3M general purpose 45 spray adhesive. And what you do is you just lather it all over that seat. And you're just gonna, I mean, you're really gonna get it on there. You're gonna see a little white tint to it. I mean, you're getting it all over. I mean, I don't know how often you use spray adhesive. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. But when I did mine, I just made sure it was everywhere. I mean, it was literally wet to the touch. Paper white? Not paper white, but just, you know, like this all the way through. When you're done, it should look like that. All right, so we got the spray adhesive on the seat. Let's go check out how our vinyl's doing. I just been in for about four minutes. So we're gonna leave it in there for just a little bit longer and then we're gonna check on it. All right, so the vinyl's nice and stretchy now. It's really, it should be hot to the touch. How long has it been in there, five minutes? Five minutes on the highest setting. And I have a high efficiency with dryer. All right, so what you wanna do is you're just gonna try to make this nice and even. It doesn't have to be super precise, but you know what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Get it over there. And just make sure you have enough room to stretch it. So I need to pull a little bit more this way. And then just start smoothing it down on the arch. Because the arch is the hardest part. And that's where the 3M adhesive comes into play. Because that is one of the most important parts. Because the arch is really difficult to do. So just keep on smoothing it down. It's not going to look good at first. Not till you start stapling it and tugging it. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to flip it over. I've got some 10 millimeter staples. Uh, it's just a manual staple gun. And we're going to get to work. I like to start on one side and then just work it to the other. Gosh, first step. And what I do is I just work it down this way, keep stapling. I come to the other side and I'll start stapling. You gotta make sure it'll come over both sides of your arch, so you make sure you do that before you even put it down. And then you and then you start just working it. You flip it over, make sure everything's tight, and then what you need to, you just keep making it tight as you go.
after about 30 minutes, this is what you got. It's a Kawasaki Bayou 220 seat being redone. As you can see, you know, it ain't the neatest thing. You could take it to an upholstery shop and pay 80 bucks to do it. But I don't think it looked too bad. I'm just going to put another layer of staples and trim off some of the edges. And it'll be good to go. It's been Caleb Rout. Thanks for watching.